positions. I think uh, the concept of experiments uh, is not considered favorable from my region because we are trying to play catch up. So don't change the experiment, don't, don't move the bar. Uh, the more we keep things stable, uh, the faster we can uh, maybe connect with the rest of the world. And so we like to take a somewhat different view of that. Uh, I like to also associate myself with the view expressed by Aisha that uh, it's becoming difficult to expect one stakeholder group to have the expertise, the knowledge that is required to deal with such an interconnected set of issues that we are handling. And uh, I think governments in my environment are beginning to also appreciate that and are trying to exploit the multi-stakeholder approach. Now, I think any restriction or any suggestion of an approach that takes away from the openness uh, and free flow of knowledge and so on will be detrimental to Africa's efforts and uh, we will not take it too lightly. Uh, regarding uh, 2.0, I think we should move away a little bit from the center and let's go to the edges. I believe it is local policies, largely, that affect access, that affect the community, the building of capacity to support the access that is to come. And so uh, finding out the right policies that increase investment, that grow the community and make the community strong is really where we ought to be going. And we should be looking for more concrete things. I don't think the abstract things helps with people who are trying to play catch up. So we should be looking for things like, how do I put an exchange point and do things? Or how do I engage the rest of the development community to help with open government data so that we'll know where we'll place uh, housing for population or whatever? I think that is what will make my community engaged in the process. Thank you.